The DRD labs are all over the country. They represent every service. They represent every STEM discipline. You can be a biologist, you can be a genomics researcher, you can be a mechanical engineer, you can be a physicist, and work on great projects. I'm an engineering research psychologist, and essentially what I do is a model human cognition. We're looking at sensing bacteria and fuels. I'm a human factors engineer. And I specialize in mathematical psychology. We study the human genome, really the way your DNA turns you into you. I work in the field of satellite communications. I do pattern recognition and data analysis. It's not just, you know, airplane structures, it's airplane structures at speed. I'm very, like, excited about magnetic materials, I love them. But then it also allowed me to kind of branch into the new field of photonics. This really is rocket science that we're doing here. I'm not just working on designing one bolt for one platform, I'm actually working with the entire aircraft itself. We wouldn't be doing the basic research if someone already knew what it was, so we're really pushing the limits and trying to understand and what no one has understood so far. We kind of get a taste for everything here, all the way from basic research that you might think of you do at a university, all the way up to an applied system that we put onto a plane or a ship. These labs are only as good as the people that are in them. People who are innovative, creative, and diverse. Diverse groups come to better solutions, faster solutions, more efficient solutions. And so that's what we're looking for as well. They're very supportive. I mean, they have a smart program where you can actually uh, work part-time, go to school full-time. So you get to enjoy your full salary, but you're getting paid to go, go to school. They want you to both succeed at school and professionally. It's kind of like a scholarship, and then you have a guaranteed job. There, there's no, no better thing to have a guaranteed job when you come out. You're surrounded by fabulous people who are really just interested in promoting and, and forwarding science in the long run and making a better technology. You can start new projects without a PhD. You can get funding without a PhD. I don't think you'll ever get bored. And if you do get bored, that means you're not looking. The people who invented the internet, invented GPS, were once young themselves and had these crazy ideas and the department supported them. And so we want to do the same for this generation in robotics, in microsatellites, in materials, in cyber. There's really nothing else like it uh, in the world. If you like to solve problems, you can do that. If you want to play with robots and you want to design things as I do, you can do that. I found a job that I can see where it makes a difference. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy working with the people I work with and it just is just amazing.